Hi, in this CSEC Math SBA Part 2 video, we are going to discuss the requirements for the following areas. Presentation of data, analysis of data, discussion of findings, conclusion, and appendix. For this, we are using the project title and investigation into whether or not the type of bike used by the cyclist affects the time taken to cycle 100 meters. Now, let's get right along. Okay, for the presentation of data, you are required to represent the information using charts, example histograms, or bar chart, or even a pie chart. It is okay for this to be done on the computer using Excel in Microsoft Office. So let's look at an example where we have to create the chart in Excel. Okay, so first of all, for your presentation of data, you want to present your information in a table. So here I have the cyclist and you want to keep the name of the cyclist anonymous. You don't want to write it, write the person's actual name. So here I use numbers or if you want, you could actually use letters. So here for the headings for the other columns, I have the type of bike. Okay, and below each heading here, you will want to write in the time taken by each cyclist to ride the bike over the 100 meters or 200 meters, whatever distance it is. So here I have the time here in seconds. Okay, 9.4 seconds, 11 seconds, etc. And below here for the column, I have the average. Just to show you all how I calculated the average using Excel. So right here where I want the answer to be, I place equal. I write the word average, open brackets, and then I highlight the numbers that I want to get the average of, and then I shift and close my brackets. You click enter, and then you automatically have the average for that particular column. So what I want to do is I decided to represent the average time taken to ride each of these bikes by all of the 10 um, cyclists. Okay, so um, you would have to fit in the information for the racer bike, the mountain bike, and of course the BMX as well, based on the data you collected by your various cyclists. Okay, so here I have a table created, and these times here represent only the average time for each bike taken by the 10, by the 10 cyclists. So now what you want to do is you want to highlight the box. Okay, you want to highlight the information. You want to click insert, then you want to go across to whichever diagram or chart that you decide to use. So let's say for example, you decide to use the bar, the bar chart over here. You could do a 3D chart. Okay, I'm gonna do a 3D one. Let me bring this up here so you could see this clearer. Okay, so what you want to ensure is on there, you want to ensure that you label your axis, you ensure that you insert a chart title. So once you go here, you click the plus axis titles okay so on the y-axis here the y-axis here this would represent the average time okay so you want to type that in and then on the x-axis here this represents the the type of the type of bike okay the type of bike used a bicycle used and up here you want to put in your chart title so here you could write bar let's see here bar chart showing average time by bike or for each type of average time for each type of bike okay so here yeah, so once you have that information you can go ahead and edit even further by clicking on the chart itself you could click up here change the design of the chart to whichever one you prefer you can even change the color of the chart by clicking change color here to, to put it to whichever color that you actually like. Let's see, I'm changing the, the bars, why isn't the color changing? Okay, so here, here we go. So yeah, so you could actually change the, um, the colors. Okay, so whichever color that you feel comfortable with, I'm gonna leave mine here in yellow. Okay, um, 
so again if you want you could put the data labels like you can see here i have the average time shown at the top of the of the bars or if you want you could click to exit to take this out on the data um, labels okay or you could actually put it in whichever one that you feel um comfortable with um so again once if you want to make any edits to the axis you just double click on it here and you could go ahead like i want to put in put this in here in um capital letters the first letter so yeah you can even extend make your chart bigger or you could make it smaller by just holding onto the end here and just dragging so again once you have this you simply right click and then you copy then you copy and then you um go ahead and you save this you copy right here and then you paste it in your your um, word document that you have so that's it for the presentation of data now for analysis of data, you want to analyze the data you have collected. You can do an analysis based on the mean or even the range. For example, the average time or mean time taken to ride the bike or the BMX bike by 10 students. Here you'd have to show your working, adding the times taken to the cycle to cycle by each cyclist, then dividing the total time by 10 because there are 10 cyclists in all. Now this can be done for each type of bike, okay? So you have three different sets of workings or based on the number of bikes that you have. Now you can also calculate the difference in the average time. For example, the difference in the average time for the BMX bike and the road race bike, road racer bike. You do this by subtracting one average time from the other. Now this will show by how many seconds the average time was higher or lower when comparing more than one bike. Now you can also look at the range of the data. This is the difference between the highest observation and your lowest observation. So for example, for the BMX bike, the fastest time was 9.4 seconds and the slowest time was 14 seconds. The range would be from 14 to 9.4, so you'd say 14 take away 9.4. Now again, this can, can be done for each type of bike. You can also look at the most common time or the model for each bike. In this case, for the BMX bike, 11 seconds is the model time or the time with which appear the most. Okay. After each calculation, you do a little write-up or written analysis of what you calculated. Example, you can go on to say, based on the data collected, it can be seen that the bike with the fastest average time is BMX and the slowest time is the or the bike with the slowest time is the racer bike okay the model time for BMX was 11 seconds while the model time for racer bike was 10.5 seconds and so on okay now let's look at discussion of findings or conclusion now for this section this section has to be based on the data you collected and presented in the other sections of the SB. So remember, whatever you discuss here, it must be connected with the other sections. For example, you can go on to say, while it is possible to cycle 100 meters using various bikes, the time taken using each type of bike may vary. Based on the data collected, the BMX bike allows a cyclist to cycle the fastest. There was a large difference in the average time taken to ride each bike by the same 10 cyclists. Based on these findings, the researcher concludes that the type of bike does affect the time taken to cycle 100 meters. Now, if you realize the last or the final statement which I made here, it actually answers the objective of the SBA, which was to determine whether or not the type of bike used by the cyclist affects the time taken to ride over 100 meters. Next, we have the appendix. Now in this section here, what you want to do is you want to include any pictures or copies of any forms that you use, the documents that you used during the research. So for our project, for example, we could include a picture of the different types of bikes that we used during the research. And we could also include a copy of the recorder form, which we used for us to record the time of each cyclist. Okay, so good luck on developing your SBA. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this by clicking on the subscribe button 
and visit our website www.jumpstartinstitute.com and sign up for one of our online math programs today.